Okay, Vess. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. You crossed the wrong syndicate, but there's a way out. Rob their fortune, buy your freedom. I'm in. Good lord, what'd they do to her? I'm from the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. Welcome back to the Freethinker React series. I'm your host, Jeff, from ThoughtCast, Freethinkers Rebellion Live Gaming. And I'm already pissing people off on Twitter. Apparently, Star Wars has a new game called Outlaws that they've dropped. And there was a tiny teaser trailer. And I got to tell you, I wasn't impressed. I let them know. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting a whole lot of feedback, positive and negative. But apparently they just dropped the main trailer. So to give it a bigger chance, I'm going to watch the trailer. We'll do a little reaction here. And then I'll see if I change my mind. Because my first inclination is, man, this looks like another DEI woke nightmare with an ugly chick as the lead. Let's see if a better look proves me wrong. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. All right, first off, it said not everything here is shown in the game, so I feel like we got the early 2000s vibes where they show, like, really cool content, but then that's not what you actually see. One of the world's last great megalopolises. What the fuck? What the fuck? This looks real enough, though. It's an opportunity to make millions. Okay, Vess. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Fuck. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. Okay, we got the Easter egg of Hans there in Carbonite. Or at least that's the time frame in between when he froze. Or it's not Hans. I don't know. But here's my first issue. And you guys can hate me for it. You can call me whatever you want for it. She's not attractive. She's just not. She's got a wide face, wide jaw, cleft chin. The 80s hair mop that covers the potential eyebrow arches. What am I getting at here? These uh, mega corporations like BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street, et cetera, uh, are offering ESG money to these companies that are making video games, and then they are giving them strings attached. And some of the strings attached are, you need to make your games more trans accessible. What does that mean? It means ugly women, ugly featureless women. Now, if you think I'm being too harsh and you're like, no, no, you know, that this is just a generic like lady, you know, she doesn't look ugly, whatever. It's like, okay, why don't you look at the model that they use for the lady and then look at what they turned her into. And that's what they keep doing. They take women who are lovely, pretty, chesty, and then they make them ugly for the sake of the rules of the game now, which is we will give you money if you make characters that are ugly because ugly characters, it's not that they're ugly. It's that they're not feminine. So that way people who also struggle to be feminine can feel included. Look, I don't have massive biceps right now. I'm fully dad botted out, but that doesn't mean that I want to play as the protagonist with some beer bellied, skinny fat person. Like give me Superman, give me Batman. Give me the big guns, Chris and resident evil. You get what I'm saying? Like, what is this? Why is it bad to have an ideal or above ideal physical form in a fantasy world? That's just crazy. So that's an issue I have. I mean, that other lady, she was pretty heinous too, but they're just like going to lean into this so far rant over, but come on before and after what'd they do to this girl, this job, 
It's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. Hey, you're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Jabba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. You know, I'm surprised that they would allow that bit of humor that she can't reach, so they have to scoot up the chair. Look, it doesn't look it doesn't look terrible, terrible. All right. It looks like kind of an off-brand Assassin's Creed, which that's like what every Ubisoft game is turning into. They're making it like one exact same game. Uh, but my I have two issues so far. So first is she is formless and boxy and flapjack ass ugly. And then second is $130 for the ultimate edition presale. That's way too much money. It's Biden 2024 economy right now. You want us to spend that much with your recent track record of games? Really, bro? I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the outer rim. She's more connected than you let on, Salero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. And I wish I wasn't just so negative. It's just $130 for the whole game. I think, I think it's more what the gaming has turned into than what my actual problem is. I don't know, guys. I feel like gaming has just turned into this crazy meme of microtransactions and partially developed games and buggy games. And I just miss the days where you spent $60 on day one and you got the entire game and it was a good game and it wasn't the same as every other game, you know, but apparently that's too much to ask now. So this is a reskin, one of the other Ubisoft games, single player game that requires you be online in order to download it. Microtransactions, season passes, massive, massive upfront cost if you want the whole package. And like I said, the freaking DEI money shines through. And you're just like, there was the two bounty hunter chicks that were short haired, ugly. They had, they're like, the only way we can make them uglier than this lady is to go straight up buzz cut and then throw scars and stuff on them. I know that it's not a beauty contest if you're an outlaw in the Star Wars world. Trust me, I've seen some of the recent movies, but people just don't like that. And you can comment. If you think it's okay to go from this to this, like, is that okay? Is that maybe I'm just like a basic traditional guy. I am married, five children. And if my wife is a thousand yards away, you can tell she's a woman. Like it's, there's no ambiguous featureless situation, um, which they keep trying to inject into these games. And it's weird and it's forced and people just don't like it. Do you think it's going to be woke? Do you think it's going to be good? Am I being way, way, way too harsh? Or do they have to actually prove me wrong before I give them the benefit of the doubt? Because that's how it feels these days in 2024. I don't know, but if you enjoy the content, please like, comment your feelings and your thoughts. Subscribe if you want to see more Freethinker reaction stuff, breakdowns of the culture, music, news, etc. I'll see you guys on the next one.